Hi everyone, this is Henry from Emerson. Today I'll be showing you how you can merge or align multiple Emerson scans into one seamless point cloud. The Aura Merge workflow uses the SLAM algorithm non-rigidly to align multiple data sets into one seamless output. Merging multiple point clouds into one output can help improve efficiency, accuracy and usability when working with many scans or on complex projects. It also ensures consistent alignment of scan data to make sure the deliverables are of the highest quality possible. Today I'll be showing you how to merge a backpack RTK, vehicle RTK and a handheld scan together. I've already captured these in the field. Uh, while capturing them, I've also ensured there's enough overlap between each of the individual point clouds so that we have common features for the SLAM algorithm to align them seamlessly. When you first process the data, what you need to do is process the individual scans. For example, we've got the backpack RTK scan selected. We need to come in, select backpack RTK. We need to choose the datum or base coordinate reference system that our RTK corrections were in. And we also need to ensure that we have reprojection turned off. If I turn this on, you'll see a warning be prompted uh, that there's going to be an issue if you try and merge this data. So we need to make sure that we have that turned off when we process the data. Now I've already processed the backpack, vehicle and handheld scans, so I'm going to take you through the merge processing now. First what we need to do is add the scans in here, and I'm going to add the vehicle and backpack RTK scans first. When you just merge data sets with RTK in them, there's no need to manually align the data. Because we've got that RTK correction, we know where the data sets are, so there's no need to manually align them. I'll first take you through that workflow, and then afterwards I'm also going to add in the handheld scan and show you what, what to do if you also have non-RTK data that you are aligning. So here I've got vehicle RTK and what I want to do is I want to apply an override for this. So it was captured on a vehicle so I want to use the bounding box and I can use a different exclusion zone for just this scan. And as you can see it's got the vehicle RTK selected down here. And for backpack RTK if I have a look in here we also have backpack RTK already listed here. If you wanted to you can trim data off the beginning and or end individual scans and like I said use different exclusion zones depending on how they were captured. If your data has RTK in it there's no need to select a reference scan that's more if you have multiple non-geo reference data sets. So I'm going to save this and then what I'm going to do is select in the processing settings what I want my final datum to be as well as whether or not I want the data reprojected into a certain coordinate system. I will do that today and I'm also going to use a geoid to correct the heights as well. So this is just two RTK data sets at the moment. If I click on next, you'll see there's no need to align these data sets. We can continue. If I click skip and start, it's just going to start processing this data. What I want to do, however, is I'm also going to add in the handheld scan and then I'm going to have to manually align them because we don't have that RTK information in the handheld scan. So now we've got all of the scans in here loaded. I'm going to click on save and we no longer have that option. So now we need to load the point clouds. It's going to load those three point clouds in uh, and they're all going to be different colors so we can easily see which scan is which and we need to manually align them so they line up roughly. This is to allow the SLAM algorithm to know roughly where each scan is in relation to one another. where this translation tool is by pressing Control shift c and then left clicking and that just makes it a little bit easier to align at a suitable place. Now 
and then you can rotate them in place as well. So I'll do the same with the backpack stand now. So now we have these three scans roughly aligned. Uh, I'm going to come down the bottom here and click on start and it's going to rerun the SLAM on those point clouds and uh, use the RTK positions to globally geo-reference all of the data sets. Okay, so that's now finished processing. We can see all of the output files here. We can also see the fit metrics report or the RTK accuracy report. We can now load in both the backpack and vehicle RTK accuracy reports together and we can view them either individually or as a combined package. So this has the final RTK to SLAM fit for both scans or we still have these tabs if you want to view them individually. This gives you a really good overview of how good the RTK accuracy was during the scan and how well the final RTK to SLAM fit works between all of the scans. So what I'm going to do now is load in each individual point cloud along with the projected trajectory of each capture. Okay so now those scans have loaded in what I can do is uh, change the color scale here to solid and that's going to let me clearly see which points belong to which scan. So I can zoom in here and see um, that these properly line up perfectly. There's no um, kind of mismatch because the slam has been rerun. So you can clearly see all of these features are perfectly overlapping with one another. If I turn on the vehicle scan and the backpack scan. see the same thing along this road here. See similar overlapping features um, in this underpass here. So it's rerun the slam and um, yeah, gives a very good overlap through the entire data set. Now if you want to save all of these scans together, we can easily do that by highlighting all three of the scans. And then we come down, we click on, click on save as, and then we can combine them into one data set quite simply. It's also worth mentioning, uh, if you want to either colorize these data sets or extract 360 images, it's worth doing that after you merge the data sets. So you want to merge everything, have everything lining up perfectly, and then you want to run your colorization and your 360 panos. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the Emerson website.